Hi and welcome. In this, In this video, video, I will teach, teach you how to install and how to use Cloudfish Voice Changer for your voice needs. Let's, Let's get, get started. started. Open up your favorite browser of choice and search up Cloudfish Voice Changer. What you will then do is click on this link or you can click on the link in my description down below. Next step, we're going to click on the download page and we now need to find our computer's bitrate. To do this, you can open up your Windows search bar and search up about your PC right there. Hit enter, open it up. This is going to show you a lot of things about your PC, but the main thing that we are looking at is right here, the system type. I have a 64-bit operating system, x64 base processor. What this means is I need to download a 64-bit version. Now, I'm pretty sure more VSTs use the 32-bit VST, so I'm personally gonna use this one. So you click on download, click off the ads, and then click on this button, download Clownfish Voice Changer. The next step is to click on download, pick somewhere for it to load into. I'm just gonna hit save in my downloads and you can click on open. It's gonna ask you to allow this app to make changes to your device, say yes. Then this is going to show up. All you gotta do is hit next. Choose whether you want it to create desktop shortcut and start menu shortcut. Cuts. I'm just gonna let it happen so I click next choose the destination folder where your stuff is gonna be I'm gonna place mine in the C drive click next and then you're gonna hit install once this starts installing this will cut out all of your audio for a little bit until everything reboots if you're in a VC with your friends while setting up this installation be mindful that your audio will die as it will be resetting due to this voice changer affecting your audio anyway click on install and now we wait. Things are happening. A Dead again. Oh, and it's back. From here, we are now going to click on the next button and finish. Yay. That should be it, honestly. We should now have Clownfish, which we do. Look at this in the corner. Here it is. What you can do is double click on it. And then that launched Clownfish. So now Clownfish is launched, but we can't see anything, right? So what you do, you double click again. And now we have this menu pop up. So we can either turn it off, do whatever. But that was the installation guide. On to now actually use using the voice changer because you have it now. Hell yeah. C congratulations. Step one, you're going to want to go over here to set up. Click on system integration. And here, every single microphone input is listed. So what you're going to do is you're going to find your current microphone. I'm using the Shure SM7B. It's my default and it is currently installed for me. If it's not, you just go over here and you click on install. Wait a little bit. It'll reset and then you will have it. From then on, you can double click again and click on set voice changer. This will actually open up the voice changer application and you can click around and play with things, right? If I click on baby pets, all of a sudden I sound like Alvin from Alvin and the Chipmunks. So I'm like Alvin! Anyway. Congratulations, you now have Clownfish fully up and operating. Also, to hear what you sound like in your headphones, just click on the hear microphone button right here. And once you do, you should be able to hear yourself back just like this. If you wanted to try Clownfish to do a girl voice, then the custom pitch slider will be your best friend. It's this tool right here. You just select it, and then all of a sudden, I can start sliding this around on, on the on the scale. So just listen to your voice and then adjust based off of what you hear. So if I hear this, then you know it shows me I, I, I'm a little too far. If you're talking like this, then uh, no one about a pitch sliding will help you. I can try to raise this but like it's not really gonna work right if, if i do it do a little bit it just still sounds like this and so what you'll actually want to do is try to learn how to do a girl voice physically on your own if you are eventually able to get to a point where your voice can maybe sound like something like this like it has that sort of female undertone then the pitch slider could definitely help you Let, let's just say 1.05 right this right here this this is what it sounds like and then i'm gonna clear the effect and then th this is what i'm talking 
like right now all right so this is without and then this is with with the effect my voice sounds like this and then without the effect my voice sounds like this um while doing this type of voice and that right there is the sort of reason why somebody might want clownfish to be able to do a girl voice is to assist their already pretty good girl voice with all that being said thank you for watching till the end and i hope that you have a lovely rest of your day see ya